welcome back to my channel as you guys have seen the back title of today's video today I will be showing you all my top five favorite designer pieces from Vova and DHgate I am aware that Vova does not sell any designer pieces on there so if you want to grab any of these you will have to go on to DHgate before they sell out because honestly I love shopping on DHgate I'm not gonna lie and you guys are going mad for these TH Great Hauls at the moment so I thought I would kind of film a different type of video before in my other TH Great it may be out in a few weeks or something who knows you'll have to keep an eye out for that but yeah um, I have actually chosen five of my favourite designer pieces I love them so much these are really good quality duplicates so if you're somebody who doesn't want to spend the money full whack on the real deal trust me these duplicates are just as a good quality probably even better in some cases as the real item so keep on watching yeah, before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up it would be nice to get to a like goal or say 40 likes on this video we'll kind of rank it up a bit now because i want to try and push the boat out and try and rank my likes up so if you leave a like it'll mean that this video it will be able to reach more people which means more subscribers which just means a better channel for all of us really so please leave a comment and subscribe and without further ado let's go on with the video yeah, my first design item that i have started recently using are these gucci bloom sliders i am pretty sure these have been featured in many dhk or designer videos but these are a classic kind of dhk purchase i would say i love wearing sliders personally i actually wore these for the first time to the cinema the other day because it's nothing worse than wearing trainers throughout like it, watching the film so I thought I'd wear my sliders and they're comfortable and oh my god these are like the most comfiest sliders I own and these are designer replicas and I do have a pair of guest sliders in my cupboard over there and they are nowhere near as comfortable as these ones you can kind of tell they do look a little bit fake but that'll be funny who's gonna know it's just a pair of sliders i it would never justify spending like 200 pounds on sliders because shoes in particular do get ruined very easily compared to handbags and clothes and stuff i would rather spend 20 30 pounds on a pair of sliders um that look identical and it even came with a gucci box so who's the real winner <laughs> anyway these say Gucci on the side, yeah, they're really heavy, they're really heavy, good quality sliders, yeah, they're very well made, say Gucci on the bottom, I'll put them the right way around for people who may have OCD, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, they're really nice, I love them, they're very comfortable, they're very stylish, and if you go into the cinema anytime soon, yeah, whack your sliders out, yeah, because it is a game changer when you go to the cinema, trust me, and I've always... We wanted these sliders so now that I've got them I'm gonna look after them very well um, and if you know if you want some sliders as I said go to DHgate before they potentially sell out or something happens to DHgate I'm kind of worried in case something does happen to that site because as you know Vova has recently removed all the designer items so I'm kind of worried I'm kind of worried in case it's gonna to happen to DHgate but for now we'll just have to hope and pray nothing will happen i'm hoping anyway the next designer piece which is very seasonal so i can probably only use it for certain times of the year but i'm not complaining this the louis vuitton summer by the pool handbag it it was part of their summer collection you obviously won't be able to buy the real thing on the line anymore i mean i would never think of buying the real thing because it's like a grand but this it was £200 from DHgate, the seller kindly sent me it, it's made of real leather, it smells of real leather obviously, the handles are real leather because they've tanned a lot already and I've only had this bag like 2-3 months, um, but this handbag is one of my faves, it's one of those type of bags that I will probably not use as often, but when I do use it, it'll be like a special occasion, or maybe going somewhere nice, um, and it's a lovely little bag this is the speedy 25 size so it's the smallest out of all the speedy bags but 
it's nice for when you're going away somewhere for like a little day trip or something um, and it's very pretty someone actually complimented me on this bag in Lidl actually out of all places it had to be Lidl um, and she said I love your handbag I was like oh thank you but yeah it, it's it's an absolute beauty yeah, this little I don't know a flowery thing it's not the nicest type of thing I am thinking of taking it off but that is what the real handbag does have on it um, you bet this handbag again it's gorgeous it comes with a padlock and stuff yeah, the interior is absolutely stunning it, it's really hard to open up as it is in this smaller bag but it also comes with a set of keys for the little keyring or not keyring and the padlock but yeah it's a very well made bag and I feel as if when you spend slightly more on designer pieces from DHG you do generally get better quality items not always but most of the time if you go to a very trusted seller which has around 98% good views good reviews I mean then you're most likely going to be getting a really good quality item yeah that's my tip for you guys always look around have a look at photo reviews compare it to the real item they look at how many good reviews they've got and like if they've got a high a positive view rating you know where to go for your bags and stuff yeah, that's just a quick tip because I've learned a lot from shopping online and comparing sellers and stuff it does it make a difference to what you receive and it can save you a lot of money sometimes but yeah a beautiful handbag obviously it's obviously there in, in my top five you know it's absolutely stunner it won't be to everybody's taste but it's one of the best quality designer handbags I have had from DHK because it's real leather probably yeah, that's probably why it's a better quality but it smells of leather yeah lovely another kind of seasonal design item which I have had for nearly two years now this is actually off over it is in my gorgeous Louis Vuitton grey logo mania scarf these scarves are to die for absolutely beautiful a Louis Vuitton Paris on it absolutely stunning yeah, these scarves keep you so warm I do have another one which is black and silver and it's so lovely again I am maybe thinking of getting yeah, the nude colour because I'm really into my nudes at the moment I don't know why I think I'm kind of changing my style of clothes and colours a bit in my wardrobe yeah, but nudes are definitely feeling it for me this year but yeah the scarf is so lovely it really isn't itchy at all they're really affordable I think scarves are a good designer piece because there's something that rarely ever go out of fashion they always keep you nice and warm and it's you know, it's having the winter time so definitely recommend this beauty absolutely stunning I love these scarves as I said I definitely want to have a look again and see if, if they're selling any more because I'm really thinking of getting like a nude one um, but we'll have to wait and see but yeah definitely another favourite of mine again another seasonal item oh my god half of these items are seasonal items but I have a Moncler hat this is my only ever item from Moncler I really want one of their jackets I've been having a look at DHG fairly decently priced but obviously like it depends on the quality so I might be thinking of getting one I don't really know I do have a lot of jackets and stuff so maybe not but who knows anyway this hat is so cute because it's got a little fur ball on it and it's like a lovely creamy colour and the logo isn't out there or tacky or anything you know but I'm going to wear this a lot in the colder months because it's obviously winter time and this hat is so cute I do have a kind of goose one but this one is way nicer compared to that one because the logo on the kind of goose one the deuce the Canada Goose one is like huge but this is like a nice little logo not too in your face you know I really like it it's really cute and I think it was only like £12 so if you're thinking of maybe getting a designer hat think twice because hats well designer hats are overpriced anyway and you better get in the the replica version because there's no difference at all it's just a hat at the end of the day I'd maybe understand people who who would rather have a real designer handbags because a real designer handbags last longer and probably last a lifetime 
compared to like the fit designer ones obviously but with hats they never really get ruined or anything or kind of like a break so yeah I recommend this one was it DHK? I'm really not sure but yeah it's a lovely warm hat and it's perfect for the winter time obviously because it'll probably be raining it probably it will never snow but who knows we'll have to find out won't we final designer piece for this video it probably my most favorite i think this one it was actually in the last video that i filmed it's showing you in my five designer favorite pieces but this one is my oh my god i forgot the name then a dior well lady dior handbag this bag is my absolute beauty she it will always be protected by me I rarely ever take her out because she is only being taken to nice places because she obviously is a very classy, expensive living handbag. And this is off of Vova, so obviously like you can't get it. But have a look on DHG. These related to your handbags are really hard to find, but if you find one, they're usually really like pure quality ones. And like the stitching is all over the place and like it's really pure quality. So I would recommend spending a bit more on these you know, lazy to your handbags you know, to get the quality but otherwise you'll get like a cheap a little like squished handbag this one you just have a lot of sturdiness it's well built it's not like squished or anything it's got what's it called it's been made properly um, and it's like proper straight at the bottom there's no kind of dints or kind of like unevenness if this handbag she is beautiful. I always get a lot of compliments on this bag as well. I think because you know, these retail for two and a half thousand pounds, I think on average anyway. So a lot of money. I could afford to get one, but I mean, I just think I've got better things for my money. Gone. I'd rather get myself a nice car instead of getting a real designer handbag, which is probably just going to look exactly the same as all these ones. You know what I mean? Um, but yes, it has the Dior kind of key rings and stuff. It's a lovely nude colour. As I said, I love my nudes. I'm so happy I got this in the nude colour because I'm obsessed with nudes now. It's weird how it's kind of all fallen into place. It is a bit scratching the handles. I have had it a while, like, probably one and a half years. Maybe two years now, almost. So, it's obviously got a bit of wear and tear in it, obviously, because like, it's a bit of an older bag now for me. Um... But yeah, again, I highly recommend these handbags. Real leather, I think, as well, actually, because it's really soft. It does smell of leather. Um, and the interior is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. It's got a few bits and bobs in there, though, so I'm not actually going to show. I've got a lot of um, lady products in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a storage for all that at the moment. I don't know why. I really don't know why. But yeah, again, a beautiful... Highly recommend, and that is obviously my first, well, my favourite designer piece because who, who wouldn't love this beauty? Anyway, guys, here is the end of my top five favourite designer pieces. I really hope you liked all of these designer items, and if you guys haven't watched any of my designer DHG or Vova videos, I'll try and link them in the description if I can. I'll most likely forget, but if you you go onto my channel and you click on popular uploads it'll be on there anyway so you'll be able to watch them all but if you guys have enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below also subscribe and i will see you all in my next video bye